Father, we thank you for this afternoon. We believe you're here. We thank you for this month. It is coming to a close. Lord, we have one week left. And we shall be in March. We are grateful for the gift of life. I just wanted to give thanks in a word or two unto your God. Tell him, Daddy, thank you. Thank you for the life. Thank you for the provision. Thank you for the good health. Somebody just give thanks to the Almighty. He loves us dearly. He plans for us squarely in an unlimited manner. He has loved us. He has watched over us. He keeps forgiving us. Even the sins of tomorrow, he has assured us of forgiveness. Thank you for loving us, Daddy. Thank you for loving me, for forgiving me, for forgiving us, for counting us as children. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Most High. In Jesus' name. Amen. amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Last Sunday, we had a wonderful teaching on yeah. the kingdom. Tell your neighbor we are still talking about kingdom life. We are part of a kingdom. The kingdom that has no end. Amen. The kingdom that has suffered violence. The kingdom that progresses by men and women of force. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to remind us, child of God, 2022, we are growing by force, advancing by force, traveling by force, hallelujah, Amen. building by force, making impact by force. Amen. Amen. Last Sunday they told us that in the kingdom there are three things we must watch out for. And we were reminded that number one you must get a position. You must have a position. And the preacher reminded us that we are children. We are sons and daughters. We are all priesthoods. Tell your neighbor that in the kingdom of God I am not ordinary. Hallelujah. Amen. Here people may take you as ordinary. In your family they may take you for granted. They may introduce people and forget you. But in the kingdom of heaven that we are talking about you have a position. Tell your neighbor I have a position. God knows me. Hallelujah. Amen. There is a t-shirt I used to love while at campus. This yeah, I have to reprint it. And you have to have it. And I think even on my car it has to be there. On it in front was a big Jesus. Jesus. Because of him. Behind the heavens know my name. Yeah. I would brag with that t-shirt. Those who thought I was from a village. I show up. They see Jesus. Because of him. I turn back. So the heavens know my name. Remind your neighbor. That the heavens know your name. Hallelujah. Amen. They know your name. Our names are written. Your name is written in the palm of God. And number two, in the kingdom, we have inheritance. 
possess. We have possessions. We have things. Tell your neighbor, I have my things in the kingdom. I am not poor. That's why the Bible says, let the weak say, I am strong. And let the poor say, I am rich. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, I have my thing. Even though I'm renting, it is just my choice. But very soon I'll be in my bungalow. Can you brag to your neighbor? They thought you're too small. Tell them I have my thing. I, I have my riches. 2022. I am accessing them by force. Hallelujah. Amen. This business of you, you're not born to walk all your life. The Bible says they that wait upon the Lord they will begin by walking. That is very true. Then they run. Amen. Amen. When you're driving now, you've begun running. If you're riding on a motorcycle, you're running. Hallelujah. Amen. And number three, they fly. Amen. Amen. Tell anybody, are you tired of walking? The same God who enables you walk daily can make you fly. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 If for you your faith is for walking all your life, I want to tell you that even that walking is by faith. There are some who are unable to walk. It is a month, it's a year, they are bedridden. So the God who enables you to walk can he enable you to fly. Lift up your hand and say, Jesus, as I wait upon you, I am trusting you to walk. I'm trusting you to run. And I'm trusting you to fly. In Jesus' name. That is the kingdom we are talking about. Hallelujah. We have our thing. Amen. We have our possessions. That's why the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. There is no, there is no thief who will come to steal from poor people. The thieves are always in towns and cities and among the rich. It is only the poor who finds are sleeping because there is nothing to, to keep. And they celebrate sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. A poor man will sleep on the street and nothing happens. A poor man will forget to lock the door and nothing happens. There is no rich person who will forget to lock. They have a gate. They have a gate. They have a gate. By now, bagla. Hallelujah. They have inner bagla, they have locks everywhere. One of the job descriptions of rich people. They don't delegate locking doors. Even when there is a house, but they will go door by door to prove. Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. Amen. So you're rich. You have your things. But there's an enemy who keeps stealing our things. And that's why in 2022, we need new energy. We need new strength. We need new courage. That we may overcome by force. Hallelujah. Amen. And number three, he said we have purpose. Tell your neighbor, you have a reason why you're still living. 
Tell them you would have died long time. But you have a purpose. Stop being lazy. Amen. Amen. There are albums you've not yet released. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Tell, tell me, tell your neighbor you will be relevant by force. Hallelujah. 2022. You have to be relevant. Hallelujah. You've told us to give you time and we've given you time. Tell your neighbor I'm tired of waiting for Bible you. Gamba, Roma, Roman says in, uh, Bible says in Romans 8 that all creation is waiting for the manifestation of the true sons of Nego God. So, but for you, you keep asking for time, asking for time. When are you getting married, just give me time. When are you building, I need more time. When are you flying, just give me time. Amen. Some of you even know how to quarrel about things. What is wrong with these people? All of them expect me to fly. All of them expect me to fly. And so you encourage yourself. The Bible says that we shall be blessed in the countryside. And you forget that the one who says that you'll be blessed in the countryside still says you'll be blessed in the city. Hallelujah. Amen. Some scripture has to come to pass in your life. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. It is good to pastor someone who has come from one level to another. But stunted people are not easy to pastor. Hallelujah. 2022. You have to shift to the next level. Should I want to tell you one thing? It's true you have a position. And you have your possession. And you have a purpose. But without the Spirit of God. Activated. Activating a phone. Amina. When you buy a good phone, a genuine phone. You know, you, SIM card ne no. you don't just put your SIM card and it works instantly. <laughs> yes. You have a phone. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Activation. Okusumurura. Amen. Amen. You installing something like it's like you're installing it. It's like you're kickstarting it. Hallelujah. Amen. Now we we have the positions. We have the possessions and we have the purpose. But we need the Holy Ghost for activation. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor there are some giftings in you that needs to be activated. Amen. And if you fail, if the Holy Ghost does not do it, then trouble is going to activate you. If you will be blind to the Holy Ghost, if you be blind to the Holy Ghost, problems are going to come and you will come to your senses and you will get activated. Now today I want to talk about the Holy Spirit. Zachariah chapter 4 verses 6. Hallelujah. Amina. Zachariah 4 verse 6. The Bible is very, very clear. But it's not by power. It's not by might. But by the Spirit of the Living God. Hallelujah. 
Zachariah 4 verses 6. Amen. It was the angel who was talking. He was talking to Zachariah. And then he told him. He, then he answered and spoke unto me saying. This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel saying. Not by might Nor by power But by my spirit Says the Lord of us Tell your neighbor It's not by might Not by power But by the spirit of the living God Hallelujah Amen The kingdom life I'm talking about the breakthroughs we are talking about the progression we are talking about the activation we are talking about the levels we are talking about they are only possible by the spirit of the living God. and set free in the next couple of minutes I want you to become a friend of the Holy Ghost without the Holy Ghost you are wasting time without the the Holy Ghost, you are an entertainer. Without the Holy Ghost, you are an empty tin. Samson, in the Bible, Samson when he lost the Holy Ghost, he was called to entertain people. This is a guy who was meant to destroy the Philistines. This is a guy who had been anointed by, from birth. He was of another right generation. His hair had never been cut. He had extraordinary energy whenever the Holy Ghost would come upon him. When they cut his hair, he lost the energy. He lost the power. And while in prison, they called the guy to entertain. They realized he was a good entertainer. Tell your neighbor without the Holy Ghost, you are reduced to an entertainer. You are reduced to a comedian. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor your call is beyond entertainment. Uh, tell him, tell them, tell them. Your call to make impact. Not to just make people laugh. Hallelujah. You don't need to be born again to make people laugh. Hallelujah. Amen. But to make impact in their lives. To change their lives. To add, a, 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 to make a difference in their lives. You need the Holy Ghost. Lift up your hand and say, Holy Spirit. I need you more than yesterday. I need you more than words can say. I need you now. As I talk about the Holy Spirit, I want you to yearn for more of him. He will introduce you. He will make way where seems to be no way. He will lead you step by step. Hallelujah. They will tell you. That we, yes, we had some fear. But we're confident of this God of heaven. He would not leave us alone. They sang a song that he loves them in a special way. Simon and, and, and Juliet sang a song. Let me tell you. If there is anybody he loves, he loves me. Hallelujah. For me. I even buy things without money. Amen. Hallelujah. Because he loves me so much. I've even seen that scripture that all, all doesn't make sense to the land friends. You know, the Bible says come and buy without money. Come and buy without a price. 
people who have gone to school like me, they can argue about that. Don't be foolish, don't be foolish. That is the word of God. Me, I have believed it and I have bought without money. I have traveled without money. I have eaten without money. There is a time I bought a taxi without money. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Amina. I ended I was in a foreign land in Kenya, no money. And I had three other people to transport. And God had refused me to ask for money. I said, now God, I am going to go back. And my friends didn't know we didn't have money. <laughs> because they knew they have me, so they, they have transport. We entered the taxi, and it began going. Now you know Kenya, if you've been to Kenya, you know. You know those guys are Hallelujah. Hmm. Thankfully, for them, the, their taxis don't fill up. So in the doorway, there were four men standing. <laughs> and after the taxi had taken off, that's when our host remembers that he had forgotten to give us money. So he began chasing after the taxi. And the men who were standing were able to see him. <laughs> so they told the driver to stop. And, and, and he said, Oh, Pastor, I'm sorry. Then he gave each one of us an envelope. Hallelujah. Amina. Hallelujah. We have moved. When he says go preach without money, I have seen that happen. I got to Tanzania, they steal all the money I had. And anybody sensible would think of coming back. I told myself, I think there is a big accomplishment to be done. I told the devil, devil, you've made a loss. I am continuing. Hallelujah. Amen. I called the, my next stop and I found when they had cut it, a bus ticket for me. And I was just in tanks smiling. In a foreign land where they only speak Swahili. This Jesus loves me. This Jesus loves you. Hallelujah. I know you have your story. One day you will tell us how he has loved you. You need to trust him. You have been in the trenches together with Jesus. You have been in the fires together with Jesus. You have been in the storm together with Jesus. Can he forsake you in 2022? Ask your neighbor, can Jesus really give up on you? He he loved you when you were nobody. You were so poor. So unknown. So weak. But he loved you then. Can he forget you now? Hallelujah. Simple mathematics. By the way, our God is an investor. Amen. Amen. Our God is an investor. Amen. One time after investing so much in Elijah. One day Elijah wakes up and he doesn't have the Holy Ghost. And he begins to pray. When he went into the closet. He said, God, I'm the only one left. Please kill me, take me home. Now if you're here and you've ever prayed such a prayer. You were empty. You did not have the Holy Spirit. Elijah has been there. 
And he prayed, let me die. But because our God is an investor, he did not answer Elijah's prayer. And in order for God to make sure that Elijah does not brag in heaven, that you know for me I prayed and I died. He took Elijah to heaven alive. Amen. Oh, else Elijah would be in heaven saying, you know, oh. when you're down there and you're tired, just tell him to kill you and he will. Now, if this this week you prayed such a prayer, I have good news. You're Kat not going to die. Let me tell you. There is a woman who had HIV AIDS. And that time HIV was still very scary. Very and she began praying, Lord, let me die. Lord, let me die. Lord, take my life, Lord. Lord hallelujah. Amen. One time she was going to Kapchora. And their taxi overturned. And everyone died. And that woman came out alive with HIV. Hallelujah. What is your condition? What is your story? What are you going through? You could be praying that you may die. The heavens are saying, no, you're not going to die. They sent ravens for Elijah and ordered him to eat by force. And they told him the journey is still long. The assignment is still on. They told him you're not better than your judges. Father Elijah is one guy who annoyed me at that point. He had just killed 400 prophets. And the next day he was running because of a woman. Praise Jesus. You need the Holy Spirit. Some of you could be here and you're running. You're scared. You're timid. You're confused. You don't even know how to pray. How can you be there and you say you don't know how to pray? At least pray in tongues. Amen. If the things have confused you and you don't understand, go there and say, Rika Tarishe You know? You will do that for 10, 20 minutes and you will know how to pray. Because that is for your edification. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You need the Holy Spirit. Without him, you're dead. Without, Without him, we are weak. Without, Without him, we are heading nowhere. It is not by power, not by might, but by the Spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. One of these days, join the intercessors. Tell them, I am tired of a dry life. I want the Holy Spirit. Amen. He's the only one who changes people. He's the only one who brings back dead people. You may be stunted you, 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 with dry hallelujahs. Amen. Amen. And every time you stand to testify, it is long ago. But you need the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. To speak with you. There is a friend of mine I'm waiting for. He has been at the mountain for so long, for like two months now. I called him and I asked him, what is the Lord saying? And he said he has not yet spoken. How can you be on the mountain? A full month and the second month. And I asked him, what are you still doing? there. Amen. And I told him that devil might visit you. I cannot be at the mountain. And the, if the Lord even knows that I would have left long, Hallelujah. long ago. Amen. He knows. 
things that I take me to the mountain chakula. are really big, I mean, and so he has to do something instantly. The woman in Kalakasa, and I see again the Vamuchitanda chino. One, one time I said I'll not get out of this bed until you do something. You can even riot on your bed. Amen. Amen. You can even riot on your bed. Amen. I'll not get out of this bed. I'll not eat anything. I just e told him that. And the truth I was reading, it was like a <laughs> Even if he had not answered, Mokama I would get out because of hunger. But he came out me. And he saw that I was really determined. Mokama Amen. Acts chapter 1. And I will wind up. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, Acts chapter, the, the whole of Acts is a book that talks about what Jesus was doing and what he was teaching. If you want to understand kingdom life, just read the book of Acts. The summary of that book, it is all about what Jesus was doing and what he was teaching. Hallelujah. And after his death, the disciples had lost it. They began talking like senseless men. They went back to their olden ways of life. And in verse 2, they tell us that Jesus revealed his, himself to them. Passed through the Holy Ghost, but he also gave, came, came with evidence to them. Even when they doubted him, he proved to them that I am he. He showed themselves as alive. Hallelujah. Amen. And he began to speak to them about things of the kingdom. And he gave them a few commands. And among them in verses 4, he told them, and being assembled together with them, he commanded them, that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which says, you have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days from now. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you, do not depart from Jerusalem without the Holy Ghost. Do not begin a ministry without the Holy Ghost. Do not go into that marriage without the Holy Ghost. Do not begin a new venture without the Holy Ghost. Do not begin a new initiative without him. Moses understood this long ago. And he told God, I am ready to disobey you if you will not go with us. We are going nowhere. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 He said, God, I know you have said I'm the most humble man. That's what the Bible tells us. But when it came to obedience, he said I'm only obeying if we are going together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of you are so obedient that sometimes you go alone without him. Sometimes you go without clear instructions. No wonder we failed terribly. No wonder we struggle terribly sometimes. Child of God, shall you go with him? Shall you work with him? Shall you partner with him? Hallelujah! Amen. Stop moving alone. Go with him. Sing with him. Preach with him. Work with him. Let people in the office know. 
People like Joseph. Yakola, yakola, yakola. He really worked. He even didn't know a spirit of Pharaoh. Pharaoh who didn't even know the spirit of God. Yusuf. He looked at Joseph. And asked. Who is like Joseph among all of you? He speaks words of wisdom. And full of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Holy Spirit fill you. That even the day you go to the state house, they'll know that you're different. That even the non-believers will know that you're different. Praise the Lord. I want you to love the Holy Spirit. And inquire of Him. And pray with Him. And walk with Him. That your songs will be played everywhere. And don't Simon. add you you when it come. Even if they when play it in a bar, just start speaking in tongues. You will see them testifying that I was in a band, I had this song, and I gave my life to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just spoke to him. He told them not to leave Jerusalem until your promise is fulfilled. The promise of the Holy Spirit. Brethren, even us who are in this generation, the Lord promised us the Holy Spirit. And we need him. He's the best counselor. He's the counselor. He's the teacher. He strengthens us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Paul why do you think Paul wrote that we are persecuted, pressed down, but not abandoned? Why? Because of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Verse 7. And he said unto them. No, in verse 6. They asked Jesus a question. When they when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father has put in his own power. But you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Praise the Lord. And they asked him, these things that you're talking about, when will they happen? Happen? When will life change? When shall we be rich? When shall we get those blessings? When shall we be different? And there is a believer who is asking that question. Lord, I'm very tired. I've served you. When will you lift me? And he's saying, just keep quiet. All Don't you mind need about is the when. Holy Spirit. And his power will come. And you will automatically qualify. Hallelujah. Amen. As we wind up, tell your neighbor. Stop worrying about the times. Stop worrying about the seasons. When will I hit again? Hallelujah. Amen. When will I be known again? When will I meet the first lady again? When will I get out of the country again? Tell your neighbor, stop worrying about that. When you go back, when you go back, you're talking to your neighbor, when you go back, go to your room and call forth the Holy Spirit. 
When he comes, by next Sunday we shall know. Amina. Now I'm telling you, you don't need the whole month. You don't need the whole year. When he came upon the guys, they began speaking different languages immediately. The cowards became bold. They began preaching. They began healing the sick. They began doing wonders. That is what we need, church. And the time is now. I think the time is now when we sing and they get healed. When we shout hallelujah and the lame walk. The time is now. Stand up on your feet everybody and just speak to Jesus. Tell him I need you Holy Spirit. Fill my life. Charge my life. Just speak in a minute as we wind up. In the name of Jesus. And tomorrow remember to join the intercessors. And when you come pray for the Holy Spirit. Let him touch you. Let him restore you. Let him revamp you. Somebody speak to Jesus. Holy